जने हो होली ना कु जाने नोलू होली ना कु जाने नो Okay, shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, we come unto you at this hour. Knowing my Jehovah, that you are what matters most. And we desire that we be in your presence. Help us, God. Oh, Mungu wetu. There are many times that we go in our thoughts. Kuna wakati mwingi ambapo tunakuwa katika mawazo yetu wenyewe. But we don't want to use our thoughts. Lakini hatutaki kutumia mawazo yetu. We want to use your anointing. Amen. Tunahitaji kutumia upako wako. Anointing ni tie uvuvio and anoint your servant that is interpreting. Na umvuvie pia mtumishi wako anayetafsiri. And let the power of darkness na zile nguvu za za giza that fights the world ambazo zinapigana dhidi ya neno brought under your feet ziwekwe chini ya miguu yako your children and i we haven't come here to hear a man ah watoto wako na sisi hatujaja hapa kusikiliza mwanadamu we have come to see god tumekuja kumuona mungu and let the god of elijah na Mungu wa Elia come down ashuke and touch each and every one of us na kumgusa kila mmoja miongoni mwetu let lord the anointing ebu ule uvuvio that was upon your savior ambao ulikuwa juu ya mtumishi wako that instructed him to store the message ambao ulimwagiza kutunza ujumbe come now and make this message real uje hapa na kufanya ujumbe huo halisi in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Baba we say thank. Tuna baba tunasema asante. We worship. Tunakuabudu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. 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 We without wasting much of your time. Kaa bila kupoteza muda wenu mwingi. I will ride on the protocols that have been said before. Nitafuata utaratibu ule ule ambao nimekuwa nikisema tangu kabla and acknowledge everyone that is here. Na ninatambua uwepo wa kila mmoja aliyoko mali hapa in their capacity. Katika uwezo wao tofauti tofauti. Servant of God. Watumishi wa Mungu and relate. Na kanisa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So quickly we'll go into reading of the word. Kwa hiyo kwa haraka tutakwenda kwenye kusoma neno la Mungu. Ezekiel. Kitabu cha Ezekiel chapter 9. Kitabu cha Ezekiel sura ya 9. Read from 1 to 7. Tutasoma mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa 7. I will ask the the brand reading swahili so utasii wangu atasoma kwa kiswahili tasoma katika jina la Yesu kisha akalia kwa sauti kuu masikioni mwangu akisema waamuru wale wanaosimamia mji wakaribie kila mmoja na awe na kitu chake cha kuangamiza mkononi mwake na tazama watu sita wakaja wakitokea kwa njia ya lango la juu lielekeano upande wa kaskazini kila mmoja ana kitu chake cha kufisha mkononi mwake 
na mtu mmoja kati yao amevaa bafta naye ana kidau cha wino cha mwandishi kiunoni wakaingia wakasimama karibu na madhabahu ya shaba na huo utukufu wa Bwana wa Israeli ulikuwa umepanda juu kutoka kwa kerubi ambaye ulikuwa juu yake mpaka kizingiti cha nyumba akamwita mtu yule aliyekuwa amevaa bafta mwenye kidau cha wino cha mwandishi kiunoni Bwana akamwambia pita kati ya mji kati ya Yerusalemu ukatie alama katika vipaji vya nyenso vya watu wanaougua na kulia kwa sababu ya machukizo yote yanayofanyika kati yake na hao wengine aliwaambia nami nilisikia piteni kati ya mji nyuma yake mkapige jicho lenu lisiachilie wala msione huruma mstari wa sita waueni kabisa mzee na kijana na msichana na watoto wachanga na wanawake lakini msimkaribie mtu yoyote mwenye hiyo alama tena nzeni katika patakatifu pangu amen basi wakaanza kwa wazee waliokuwa mbele ya nyumba May the Lord add his blessings to the reading of the word. Mungu aongeze baraka kusoma kwa neno lake. I'll ask you to sit down. Nitaomba nimketi. Then I'll get you to another scripture. Na ndipo tutaelekea tena kwenye andiko lingine. Ah, Matthew chapter 24. Ambayo ni Mathayo sura ya 24. Read from 15. Tutasoma kuanzia mstari wa 15 ambao inasema basi hapo mtakapoliona chukizo la uharibifu lile lililo neno na nabii Daniel limesimama katika patakatifu asomae na afahamu Ngoda Yes Ngoda Ndipo walio katika Uyahudi na wakimbilie milimani naye aliye juu ya nari asishuke kuvichukua vitu vilivyomo nyumbani mwake wala aliye shambani asirudi nyuma kuichukua nguo yake. Ole wao wenye mimba na wanyeshao. Nasema ole wao wenye mimba na wanyeshao siku hizo. Ombeni ili kukimbia kwenu usio wakati wa baridi wala siku ya sabato. Kwa kuwa wakati huo utakuwapo dhiki kubwa ambayo haijatokea namna yake tangu mwanzo wa ulimwengu hata sasa wala haitakuwapo kama na kama siku hizo zisingale kupizwa asingeokoka mtu yeyote lakini kwa ajili ya wateule zitafupishwa siku hizo wakati huo mtu akiwaambia tazama Kristo yupo hapa au yuko kule msisadiki sikasikiko kwa maana watatokea makristo wa uongo na manabii wa uongo na watatoa ishara kubwa na maajabu wapate kuwapoteza kama yamkini hata walio wateule Okay we have read the scripture Ah ndio tumesoma maandiko eh, I have many things to talk to you Niko na mambo mengi ya kuzungumzia But I don't think we can manage to speak everything. Lakini sizali kama tunaweza kuongelea mambo yote. But I'll speak a few things that the Lord will lead me to speak. Lakini nitajaribu kuongelea mambo machache ambayo Bwana ataniongoza niyawazungumzie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this message, katika ujumbe huu, I want to tell Israel. Nataka nimchukue Israeli as the church. Kama mfano wa kanisa, and then we come to the church, the present church. Na tumlete na tuje sasa katika kanisa la sasa hivi and see how the church has moved. Na tuone namna ambavyo kanisa limesafiri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So the first natural change that God called kwa hiyo kanisa la kwanza ya la asili ambalo Mungu aliliita was Israel. Ilikuwa ni Israeli. And the Israel na was called a nation from a nation. Na Israeli aliitwa taifa ambalo liliitwa kutoka taifa lingine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God called Israel, Mungu alipomwita Israel, he gave them the prophet Moses. Na akawapeana nabii aliyeitwa Musa. Moses gave them the instructions to follow. Na Musa akawapatia maagizo ya 
kufanya and they were following them na wakaanza kuyafuata hayo maagizo as long as they followed what moses told them na hivi mradi tu waliyafuata yale maagizo ambayo Musa aliwaambia oh well with them oh mambo yote yalikuwa mazuri kabisa whenever they divided from what moses said lakini walipoachana na yale mambo Mungu wa Musa aliwaambia troubles came on them oh walianza kupata shida haleluya haleluya When he got them out of Egypt. Alipotoa pale Misri. There were diseases in Egypt. Kulikuwa na magonjwa kule Misri. Many plagues fell in Egypt. Kulikuwa na mapigo mengi, magonjwa yameshuka kwa pale Misri. But he told them. Lakini aliwaambia, when you go out there, mtakapotoka kule, in the promised land. Kule kwenda kwenye ile nchi ya ahadi, these diseases that you see out here. Haya magonjwa mnayoyaona hapa, you will never see them there. Mtu yakuta kule. But there was a condition given to them. Lakini kulikuwa na na sheria na masharti yamepewa. The condition was that they should obey what Moses told them. Na masharti yenyewe ni kutii kile ambacho Musa aliwaambia wafanye whoever didn't obey what Moses said na yoyote ambaye hakutii kile ambacho Musa aliwaambia problems came on them walipata shida amen haleluya haleluya so that's how it was with Israel na hivyo ndivyo ilivyokuwa kwa upande wa Israeli look here na hebu tazama i read a scripture in Ezekiel na nimesoma andiko kwenye kitabu cha Ezekiel this book na Ezekiel wakati anaandika kitabu hiki he was in Babylon alikuwa kule Babeli haleluya haleluya even the entire nation of Israel was captured hata taifa lote la Israeli lilikuwa limetekwa yet when they were in Egypt he took them na walipokuwa kule Misri aliwachukua he promised a blessing to them akawaahidi mahali the blessing was as long as this Aliwaahidi baraka. Yes. The blessing was as long as they keep the message of Moses. Na 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 hiyo baraka wangeipata ili mradi tu wangetunza na kushikilia ujumbe wa Musa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They didn't want to hear what the the, 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 the law was saying to them. Hawakutaka kusikiliza kile sheria ya Musa. They didn't follow the law. Na kwa sababu hawakuifuata hiyo sheria, God came down. Mungu akashuka and he said I've raised a man. Akasema nimemuinua mtu by the name of Nebuchadnezzar. Huyo mtu anaitwa Nebuchadnezzar. He is going to beat Israel for me. Ana yeye nitamtumia kupiga Israeli kwa niaba yangu. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Israel didn't want to hear what God said. Kwa sababu Israeli hawakutaka kusikia Mungu alisema nini. Yes. This is a God that we call a merciful God. Ah, huyu ndiye Mungu tunayemwita Mungu wa rehema. This is a God that we call a loving God. Huyu ndiye tunayemwita Mungu wa upendo. He is a loving God. Yeye ni Mungu wa upendo. As long as you are walking in his grace. Ni mradi tu unatembea katika neema yake. You come out of his grace. Na ukitoka kwenye neema yake. My brother my sister. Ndugu yangu dada yangu. You will face the wrath of God. Utakutana na hukumu ya Mungu. Hello. Hello. Am I communicating to somebody? Yes. Are you mad? Am I That's how this God was. Hivi ndivyo ambavyo Mungu alikuwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the children of Israel. Kwa hiyo wana wa Israeli. This was during the captivity in the Babylon. Huu ulikuwa ni wakati ile wametekwa kule Babeli. And this prophet na huu nabii was given in 592 to 500 and into yes, 592 to 570 ah na huu nabii ulikuwa umetolewa mwaka 592 mpaka 570 kabla ya kristo this when uh, uh, daniel I mean ezekiah was prophesying ah huu ndio wakati ambapo ezekiel alikuwa anatoa unabii huu now what did he, uh, this guy say na huu bwana alisemaje haleluya haleluya You know when the prophet says something. Unajua wakati nabii anaposema jambo. Ndio. There must be somebody to understand and interpret correctly. Lazima kuwepo na mtu mwingine wa kuelewa na kutafsiri ipasavyo. Amen. If the interpreter of the word of God he misinterpret it, then the people will suffer. Kama mtafsiri wa hilo neno la Mungu akilitafsiri vibaya, watu watateseka. Jesus Christ said, "Yes, Christ will say, 'You will know the truth, 
and the truth shall set you free. Let's not be quick. Let's be slow to Ezekiel, when he brought this prophet, it was talking about Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God was protecting Israel. Mungu alikuwa anailinda Israel. Whenever a war wanted to break, God would silence it. Whatever. The war wanted to start. Ah, okay. Kama hata vita ingetaka kuanza, Mungu angeituliza. God was silencing a war. Mungu angeituliza hiyo vita. Amen. Whoever wanted to rise against Israel. Vita yote ambayo ingetaka kunyanyuka dhidi ya Israel, God will put it down. Mungu angeizimisha vita hiyo. As long as they were in line with the word of God. Ili mradi tu wao walikuwa wanafuata neno la Mungu. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now here, sasa hapa, since they went away from God. Kwa sababu waliondoka na kuacha na kumwacha Mungu, then he saying, na ndipo anasema, he told the men akawaambia akamwambia huyu Ezekiel Here we are ready. Tunasoma hapa sura 9. Ile sura ya 9 Ezekiel. He say anasema and the old six men came from the way of the higher gate. Chapter 9 verse 2. Sarwa pia Which lies towards the north. Lielekealo upande wa kaskazini. And every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. Kila mmoja ana kitu chake cha kufisha mkononi wake. And one man among them was clothed with linen. Na mtu mmoja kati yao amevaa bafta. There were six men. Walikuwa ni watu sita. In these six men, na watu sita, they had weapons in their hands. Walikuwa na silaha kwenye mikono yao. I don't know whether it was a bow and I don't know. Sijui ilikuwa ni silaha, silaha namna gani? Silaha ni zina wa time it should have been a gun. Labda ingekuwa wakati huo ingekuwa labda ni bunduki. Ready to shoot. Walikuwa tayari kupiga. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then God told these men, na and these men. Na Hold your fire. Mungu akawaambia watu, hold your fire. Tulizeni. Don't shoot. Msipige. Then he calls a man who was dressed in linen, na akamleta huyu jamaa ambaye alikuwa amevaa mavazi ya He said, go through the streets. Akasema nenda huko mitaani and he see men. Na uwatie nuri. Hallelujah. Amen. When the man who was dressed in white passed through the city, na huyo jamaa alikuwa amevaa a person is not sealed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. These men they were instructed. 
follow this man who had a seal. Mfuate huyu jamaa ambaye yuko na moyo. If this one is sealed, kama huyu ame This one is not sealed. Na huyu aje kwa moyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone who was not sealed, yoyote ambaye alikuwa amejeruhiwa kwa moyo. A victim of those six men. Basi alibidi ajeruhiwe awe majeraha ya watu sita who had slaughtered weapons. Ambao walikuwa na silaha za maangamizi. But this was just symbols. Like he, he did not even find out. Amen. Shag. Because prophet speaks in symbols. Because Ababu manabi wa na ungea kwa mifano kwa mfumo. Now let's move from symbols and come to the reality. Amen. Kwa kwenye mifano tu ya kwenye walisia. Hallelujah. 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 When the children of Israel were in 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 the Babylon, out one of Israel will be kuwa kule the Babeli. God took them up. Mungu aliwaondoa. This prophet was not yet fulfilled. He, uh, he had to send a man with the writer's income. Ajena, you know, it was a horn. Now there was ink in there. Now that they were using to actually write a mark on somebody. Now it was a symbol. 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 Those symbols now are becoming symbols. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ came, ah, yes, I knew all this. Started preaching the gospel. Then they make a bill in Jesus. My brother say, "Ndugu yangu na sema." John is the one who started preaching the message of repentance. Ah, ah, ikuwa ni wana mbatiza jindi ariyana kubi ujume wa. The message of John now ujume wa was pointing people to Christ. Ikuwa ni kuwa letter to a Christo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you read in John 1, you hear one, bro, one apostle go to his fellow and say, Come and see. I'm the one that Moses spoke about. We found him. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they were following the prophet, they were able to see what was coming in the future. That's why. Pay much attention. When God sent the prophet, it's not a joke. Mungu anapomtuma nabi, afanyi mza. It's a matter of seriousness. Ni jambo la kumanisha. And it is between life and death. Na hiyo ni kati ya mauti na mzima. You see Miriam and Aaron, they wanted to rise against Moses. Unaona Miriam na Aaron wataka kuiluka jidhi ya Musa. They wanted to feel that they are them. They could also speak to God. Now only that they come up here when I have to go and get a Namungu village village. And the God never changed that he was not speaking. Namungu wa kukatua kwa mba wazi kuongea na hao. He used to speak to them. I is there kuongea na hao. But he's saying Moses. Lakini alisema kwa Moses. My servant. Intumishi wangu. I speak to him face to face. Nina ongea na hao uso kwa uso. These others he was speaking to them in the dreams. Lakini nini na ongea na hao ni kwa doto. Now a preacher. Sasa mubili. Thinking he can equate himself to the prophet. This is why you have no any other following apart from the prophet. That's the that you should follow. And you should, you should take things according to the way the spirit is giving you. I want to tell you, including the pastors here now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! In Matthew chapter 13, there is a parable there. There was a sower who went to sow seeds. Some fell in the ground. Some fell this. Some fell that side. Na mbegu zingine zikangu kanzi ali zingine kwenye ali zingine kwenye miba. Those things were a problem even to the disciples. This is why they could go to your private and say, Why do you speak to us in 
behind the Jesus Christ? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm not going to be behind the Jesus Christ. I am going to be behind the William Mario God did not see it fit for me. Mungu akuona mimi nio kwenye kile kizazi. Amen. But to be in the end time. Bali aliona mimi niwe kwenye wakati wa kizazi kicha mwisho. And I am a right candidate for this time. Na mimi ni mtaibiwa. I am the right person. Mimi ni mtaibiwa sahihi. should be respected that's why i say it and yes about me say man we worship god to na mwabuni mungu god is not only in the man not is only in the pastor no mungu sio kama kitu anaishi ndani tu mchungaji hapana the pastor is one gift mchungaji ni kipawa kimoja how you get that the pastor is one gift mchungaji ni kipawa kimoja but the gift do we have na kuna kipawa we have the nine spiritual gifts we have a fivefold ministry na huduma tano Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the pastor is saying no, there is no one above me. Hakuna yote iko juu. You are mad. Wewe umesamikiwa. Hata sasa you are mad. Wewe unakwambia umesamikiwa ni kichaa. I like because they said you shall know them by their fruit. Na pendo kwa sababu maandiko yanasema mtu awafahamu kwa matunda yao. Amen. 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 Amen.
The fruit is showing me. Matunda ya kwa na yonyesha wewe ni nani? The fruit is showing who you are. Matunda ya na yonyesha wewe ni nani? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These men here. Let me finish here quickly. I will go somewhere. Tukimaliza hapa tutaenda mahali pengine. Jesus. Yes. John in the in the in the Jordan Sea. Uh, Johanna pale mto Jordan is saying anasema there is one kuna mmoja that is coming ambaye anakuja whose shoe laces i cannot ambaye siwezi kufunga hata kamba za miguu za viatu vyake him yeye shall baptize you atawabatiza with all his spirit and kwa roho mtakatifu na moto how many things mambo mangapi Fire, and the Holy Ghost. Now, Rome, the Catifu. Okay. What does the fire do in somebody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Moto, it depends. Yeah. You know, Unguza, you know, man. Follow the Bible. The Bible says, for what I'm going to do, say fire first. And I say, I'm going to say, Kwanza, Moto. And then, what follows? Na kinacho fata nini? The Holy Ghost. Rome, the Catifu. The Holy Spirit does not enter into a filthy person. No. Wrong negative. Haingi kwa mtu mchafu. No, no, no. The Holy Spirit doesn't want to enter into a body that is sick. Wrong negative. Ataki kuingia kwenye mwili ambao ni mgonjwa. In a modern time, katika wakati uko wakale, if a person had only one eye, kama mtu angekuwa na jicho moja, he was not allowed to be a priest. Akuruhusiwa kuwa kuhani. Yes sir. Yes. If somebody was lame, kama mtu angekuwa ni kilema, he was allowed to be a priest. Akuruhusiwa kuwa kuhani. Yes. Hello. Hello. Is it me? No. Ye nini hapana? The Bible. Ni Biblia. What the Bible says. Biblia inasema hivyo. But today, like in the now, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Amen, Amen. The Spirit of the Lord, anointed Jesus Christ, I am the Lamb should walk. Wamba, mlema bu atebe. And if you are lame, God cannot heal you. Then you still want to be a priest? We don't, we don't care. Be a priest. Yes. It is your choice. Nasema anasema kama wewe ni ni ni, 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 ni mlemavu na unataka kuwa kuani endelea na uchaguzi wako you believe him in him he has sent you yeah. una ameni kwamba yeye ndio kwa but it not take your lameness away yeah. hawezi kuondoa ule mavu wako are you sure you believe correctly unje unaamini kwa kama umeamini kwa usahihi hapana hello hello una wasikao umeamini kwa usahihi hapana if you believe correctly je umeamini kwa usahihi no my brother hapana ndugu yangu the same one yule yule who died on the cross ali kufa pale msalaba he first took away your 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 your, your sickness ali ondoa magonjwa yako then secondly na my nipos ah at the cross pale msalabani then he took away your sins aka ondoa dhambi zako when did he take away my my my, my sicknesses ali ondoa magonjwa yangu wapi cover not cover when was when they were beating him was yes. walking pia yeah. by his stripes oh, the bible says by his stripes for yeah. we kwake tumepona kwa yeah. wakati anapigwa ndio magonjwa for every sickness kwa kila ugonjwa he received a stroke alipigwa And if you cannot challenge God, then you are not a serious person. Na kama uweze kupa mungu changa moto, uweze siye mtulia maanisha. Amina! You go and tell you. You go and tell you. Nena waka muambie. Have believed your word. Nena amini neno lako. What about this? Aha. Ibu kusana hii. Yes. Amina. Amina.
Je Mungu wako ni Mungu kiziwi? Then we go to Elijah. Naenda kuzaa kwa Elia. What did Elijah tell those worshipers of Baal? Je, Elia aliwaambia nini wale wa waabudu wa Baal? Go to your bar to come and consume this eh eh sapi kwa sapi you put here. Anasema nenda na uje umute Baal aje ateketeze. Then what is the difference between that god of the past and the god that you are worshiping there? Na na kuna tofauti kati ya huyo Mungu wa Baali na huyo Mungu unayemwabudu. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Want to provoke you? Nataka ni nikuchokoze. Yes. This god that we worship, Mungu tunayemwabudu, it is between life and death. Ni kati ya mauti na uzima. If I say believe in this god, na kama nikisema na I need to begin to see things in reality. So we want to see the miracles that happened that time. Tunataka kuona hiyo miujiza iliyotokea kipindi hicho. Tunataka kuiona sasa hivi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what we need to do. Hicho ndicho tunapaswa kufanya. Now the children of Israel back to my same one. Sasa nikirudi tena kwenye somo langu wana wa Israeli. Amina. When Isaiah prophesies this Ah wakati uh, Ezekiel akitoa unabii huu they didn't take it serious. Hawakuchukua uh, kwa umakini. Mm. But in the spiritual realm things were happening. Lakini kwenye ulimwengu wa roho mambo yalikuwa yakiendelea kutukia. People were being baptized. Watu waliendelea kubatizwa and they received the Jesus Christ. Na akampokea Yesu Kristo. Jesus Christ taught them for three and a half years. Na Yesu Kristo akawafundisha after teaching them for three and a half years. Baada ya kufundisha kwa miaka mitano na nusu wait akawaambia ngojeni. Haleluya. Haleluya. Sasa tu ndio in Luka uh, utaona kwenye Luka wait until you are filled with power subilini mpaka mtakapojaza na nguvu so that that seal kwa hiyo ile muli the man with the right as income au ile mtu mwenye kidali cha wino should be fulfilled itatakiwa kutimia haleluya haleluya ah, the bible tells me biblia inaniambia in acts chapter 2 kwenye they were in an upper room o kwenye kwenye matendo mbili walikuwa chumba cha juu suddenly The Holy Spirit came. Roda katifa kashuka. Filled them all. Akawa jaza wote. And they began to speak in tongues. Na wakaanza kunena kwa lugha. And they prophesied. Na wengine wakatona ri. Praise the God. Na wengine wakamuabudu Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That scripture was filled. Ndio fulfilled. Lili timia. Yet to others they were blind to it. Lakini wengine walikuwa wamepigwa upofu kwa hilo kutimia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read it. Matthew Matthew chapter 24 Na Jesus Christ is telling his disciples Yesu Kristo anamwambia wanafunzi wake When you see the abomination chukizo standing in the holy place Rikisi mama mahali patakatifu just look ndipo mtambue If you are on the house top kama uko kule juu ya dali ya nyumba don't come down usishuke chini Because the ceiling has happened. Kwa sababu kutiwa muri kumefanyika. People who are to be sealed they were sealed. Na watu ambao wametiwa muri, tiwa muri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they were sealed, 
walipo walipo there were six men ulikuwa na watu sita who were to follow after the city ambao ilibidi wafuatie baada ya kujua muuri so one came from the north kwa mmoja akatoka upande wa kaskazini who came from the north ni nani alitoka kaskazini Hallelujah. <laughs> the north of Israel. What, what is there by the north of Israel? You have, you have many nations there. Russia. Iran. Iran. What else? That's where Rome came from. And Rome 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 comes. Na Rumi ikaja when he came and alipokuja because the disciples and those under the 20 they received the baptism of the Holy Spirit na kwa sababu wanafunzi wa Yesu pamoja na wale 120 walipokea ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu listen to this sikiliza hivi wada tu kwa sababu na nitaka ni niku kitu fulani seven time uh, right the first seal a muri wa kwanza paragraph uh andika kwenye nukuu hapa kwamba the three to the five well muri wa kwanza paragraph ya 33 paka 35 but bring them in when the age is start wakati kizazi kinapoanza like the way the ephesus has changed age started ni kama vile kanisa la ephesus lilipoanza Before anything happens, kama kabla chochote kijatukia, in heaven, kule mbinguni, there is an announcement. Unakuwa na tangazo limetolewa. And before that announcement comes, na kabla hilo tangazo lijatolewa, there must be a man here on earth. Lazima kuepo na mwanadamu hapa duniani, who is ready, ambaye yuko tayari, what God is about to do here on earth. Pokea kile ambacho Mungu yuko tayari kufanya hapa duniani. That's why I say it. Na hiyo ndiyo sababu nasema. You should have respect for the prophet. Na lazima umheshimu nabii. Ndio. Amen. I think when the prophet received the message your grandfather was there. Na nadhani wakati ndugu Bwana anapokea huo ujumbe babu yako alikuepo wakati huo. But God never chose him. Lakini babu Mungu akumchagua babu yako. Yes, they were there. Walikuepo kama babu zenu. But he never chose them. Lakini hawakuachagua hawa babu zenu. But it pleased him to choose William Mary. Lakini nilipendeza Mungu kumchagua William Mary Brown. And they great seven for that matter. They great seven. Na alikuwa ni mtu wa jimbo la Salasaba ulipokea jambo hilo with broken english akiwa na hata na kiingereza ambacho sio cha shule when they were doctors that time na kulikuwa na watu wana elimu mpaka za udaktari people were quite learned watu ambao walikuwa wamesoma vizuri but they didn't choose them lakini hata hivyo kuachagua hao he decided to use william branham akaamua kumchagua william branham respect the choice of god hebu heshimu chaguzi la mungu respect the choice of God. Amen. Amen. When the message is received in heaven, when the message wakati ujumbe the prophet catches the vision uh, wakati ndugu Branham alipopata leo no 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 problem i mean in every age that's how to kwa ndugu Branham the prophet kwa wakati kila mjumbe alipopokea ono au alipopata ono when he catches the vision alipolipata ono he comes with that way alikuja na hilo neno he tells the people na aliwaambia watu that message brings a war na huo ujumbe unaleta vita. Some they would, they would, they would not accept it. Wengine hawatakukataa. Some they will accept it. Na wengine watakubali. Those who accept it. Na ambao watakubali go on na kuendelea nao. They receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Na mpaka wakapokea ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Yes, see. Wanatiwa mwuri. Amen. That's the Now, sasa after they are sealed. Baada ya wao kutiwa mwuri, outside there. Huko nje sasa. As it happened in Egypt kama ilivyotokea kule ni so it will happen even today ndivyo itakavyotokea leo ndio amen haleluya haleluya the prayers will follow mapigo sasa yatashuka 
This is why you have been having at one point you, you see polio come. Ah, hii ndio sababu wakati fulani unaona kuna ugonjwa wa polio. People start fighting polio. Watu wanaanza kupambana na magonjwa ya polio. When polio comes, na ugonjwa wa polio unapokuja, it didn't come for people who were sealed. Haukuwapata watu waliokuwa wametiwa mooni. It came for people who were outside the mind of God. Walikuja kwa watu ambao walikuwa ni nje ya nia ya Mungu. It means now there is a germ warfare. Kwa hiyo inaonekana ni kama kuna vita ya mbegu. Yes. Amen. It comes to people who are not in God. Inakuja kwa watu ambao hawako na asili ya ndani ya Mungu. Now we go back to what happened to Moses. Na tunarudi tena kwenye kile ambacho kilitokea kwa Musa. Those who did not believe Moses. Wale ambao hawaku mwamini Musa. Mungu to make a, 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 a brother and serpent. Mungu alimwambia Musa atengeneze nyoka wa shaba. Haleluya. Haleluya. Those who disobeyed Moses, when they were beaten by snakes, what happened? Musa, they died. They died. But those who looked on the pole, they had the mercy. They had the mercy. And that pole, 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 Outside there, kule nje, X, ukimwi, syphilis, kuna magonjwa ya ngo ya ngo ya zina, kisonono, lepros, kuna ukoma. Talk about any disease that you want to talk about. Kuna kuongelea ugonjwa wao dona kuongelea. It is outside there. Kule nje, if it comes here, kama ukija apa, unless you have committed sin, laba uo metenda zambi, andi. On Friday, I say. Na siku ya Yumani sema. Certain diseases. Baanya magonjwa. It is not you. Sio we we. They came from where? Megi na itoka wapi? From your descendants. Ya itoka kwa wazee wako. Maybe your mother. Laba mama yako. Your father. Laba baba yako. What they were doing? Yana kwa kwa problem unto you. Kwa wali kuhitisha yuo tatizo. Now that's not a problem. Yes, that's a tatizo. Because again, God comes in as a carry sin. Na mungu na kujenga kwa 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 You know, we baptize people based on their confession. Unajua tuna uabatiza watu kulingana na kwa chukiri. Ask a person. Ebu mulize mtu. You believe Jesus Christ as your Savior? Unamwambia Jesus Christ kama mokozi wako? Amen. Hello. Hello. Amen. Is he here? Amen. Is he here? Amen. Is he here? You go up. This body here. Who will you up? Was a lamb for your sin. Alikuwa ni mwanakondo kwa jia ya nambi yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter 60, this is verse 2, verse 1, 2, and 1. Kwenye Isaiah sura 60 nambi ili msari wa kwanza, this man performed one thing. Uyu mtu alifanya kitu kimoja. The other thing he didn't perform. Mamo mingine ya kuyafanya. So we needed this man again back. Kwa tuli mwitaji umtu tena. That's why he said. And this man was saying, "As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be? When the son of man will be revealed, when the son of man today is ending. The son of man will be revealed. When the son of man today is ending. 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 Amina. Hello. Hello. To the person that he didn't fulfill this one. Ah, the same member who akutimiza. We were told. To the ambiwa. He came as a lamb. 
Alikuja kama mwana kondoo. Didn't come to judge the world. Akuja kuhukumu ulimwengu. Even when the children of Israel rejected him. Na hata wana wa Israeli walipomkataa. Look at his prayer. Angalia maombi yake. Father, baba, forgive them. Wasamee. Because they do not know what they are doing. Kwa sababu hawajua yale wayatendayo. He was to operate according to the word of God. Yeah. I did a fine na tele kulingana na neno la Mungu. He couldn't go beyond the word. Akupata kwenda zaidi ya hiyo neno. He had to obey everything. Ibidi ati kila kitu. Yes. If it was like that to him, kama ilikuwa hivyo kwake, even to the pastor, hata the pastor obey the word according to your office. Wachungaji napaswa mtii neno kulingana na neno la Mungu. Obey the word according to your office. Na hata mwingilizi Can you give go slowly on it? It's very when there is a problem between a pastor and a pastor, kama kuna shida kati ya mchungaji na mchungaji, then you go another pastor to come and finish that problem. Dipo mwenye mchungaji mungi aje kumaliza hilo tatizo. The problem will never be finished. Hilo tatizo halitaisha. Because that grace has never been given to a pastor. Kwa sababu hiyo neema haijapewa mchungaji. Amen. 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 The pastor's grace. Neema ya mchungaji it is to keep the church. Ni kutunza kanisa. Amen. Hata wazinzi atawatunza tu. Did the pastor chase those? There was a man who was married to 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 to, to a woman. Kuna and this man had children. Kuna uyu mtu aliko ameo ameo owa manamke na aliko na watoto. These children were step children to to the wife. Na hao tu kwa kwa watoto wa kambi kwa kwa. Then the son. Nipo wewe mtu. Proposing love to the mother. Aka anza kuchumbi ya mama yake. Just that person. It did not go. It did not go. It not go. It not not But when an evangelist comes, what kind of evangelist is going to come? The prophet is saying, "The people are saying, 'The fireball.' Yeah, yeah, we do not want to. We want to bruise somebody. 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 Ask the people who did them. 
Waliwaambiza watu waliowatia mikono waliowatia mafua. Watu 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 they were ordering them. What were they ordering in them? Walikuwa wanaweka watu kwa ajili gani? Kitu gani kilikuwa ndani yao wakati wanaweka wanawekea watu? Wakati Paul anaweka watu Timothy alisema nini? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is stressing the gift where it came from. Aliweza kusema kile kipaa kilipotoka. From Lois the grandmother. Kwamba kitoka kwa Lois. Eunice the mother. Bibi yake na Eunice mama yake. Mother now into a son. Na kutoka kwa mama sasa kwa mtoto. It was sanctioned by laying on of hands. Na kili 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 bungwa mkono kwa kuwekewa mikono. They have been ordained. I don't know what they saw in us. Sisi tuliwe tuliwekewa mikono tuliweka watu hapa. Hatujua aliona nini ndani yetu. I know when we are talking about these things you take them out there. Do you know what is the same thing? Yes. Doing God a service without being his will. Kumfanya Mungu kazi bila mapenzi yake. Brother Adam was not talking with Pentecost. Ndugu Adam alikuwa hazungumziwa Pentecost. He was talking with the any time believer. Alikuwa anazungumziwa ni Mungu juu ya Musa. And if they are people to take themselves it is us. Ni watu wanapaswa kujitazama wenyewe kwamba ni sisi. We have troubled these people a lot. The problem that we have. She that we are now. We have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I just want to hear baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's what the brother was saying. Come to the door. We're going to sing. Sure. Let's go to the to the early church. I will try to put the candles on the lamanzo. They were in an upper room for twenty for ten days. We are going to take a trip to the Jews. Siku kum. Waiting for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Subi the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Here if we say hapa tukisema kesho tuatui tuze no eating baka jumani hakuna kula some of you will not even come here wengine hata mtakuja yes sir how are you going to receive the baptism of the mke ndaje kupokea baptism of mtakatifu how kivipi If God will give you the baptism of the Holy Spirit, kama Mungu akiwapo baptize Roho Mtakatifu, contrary from what he did to the early church. Kinyume na vile alivyopatia kanisa la mwanzo. Then God has changed. Ndipo Mungu alibadilika. Amen. Has it changed? Je, hajabadilika? Has it changed? Je, amebadilika? He hasn't changed. Ama amebadilika? Okay. So if you want the Holy Spirit then, kwa kama unataka Roho Mtakatifu sasa, we go the way they went. Nenda vile walivyoenda. The prophet is saying, Nabi is saying, there was a man. He was looking for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He told the wife. He told the wife. My wife. Mkewangu. 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 I want the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Nataka ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Amina. Jump on the car. Aka panda gari. Drew went to the bush. Akaendesha mpaka kwenye kichaka. I want the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Nataka ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. The man left that place. Mungu yote aliacha alitoka kwenye ile eneo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Alipopata ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. But today, like in Leo, we are joking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know the message is long, but I can't finish. But who do you mean? Like this is coming. Actually, say maybe. In Israel, who is Israel? After they rejected Jesus, but after they come to Christ, they are still saying, "Who is the Lamb before Gavin?" Who is the Lamb before Gavin? 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 Who
You speak ill of the son of man. Na, nena mabaya juu ya mwana wa Adam. You will be forgiven. But I will build. Lakini ajabu to come. To speak ill against him. Kunena ovu dhidi yake. You will not be forgiven in this world even in the world. Hamtasamea ulimwengu huu hata ule uti. Hello? Hello? Amen. 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 Yes sir. Yeah. When you come in Acts chapter 13 verse 46, unapo soma sura 13 mstari wa 6. And Barnabas tried. Paulo na Barnabas walijaribu kwa kwa unge kwa kwa zubeja wa Israeli. Get it and change waka sahau na kubadilika so that the words of Jesus Christ should be fulfilled ili kwamba maneno ya Yesu Kristo yatimie wakakata and he said wakasema according to the word of god kulingana na neno la Mungu it was given to you first mlipewa kwanza nini that you should be safe ili kwamba mwokolewe kwanza now you have counted yourselves not worthy of salvation sasa mmejihesabia ninyi wenyewe kwamba hamstahili wokovu now sasa we turn to the gentiles yeah. tunageukia mataifa hallelujah hallelujah immediately moja kwa moja when paul and barnabas wakati Paulo na Barnabas this is that when you find a evil remember the apostles they ran away from there because they were pursued by the Romans unajua wa mitume walikimbia maana walifukuzwa na 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 na, na warumi yeah. hallelujah hallelujah they all ran away what are kimbia Mary was at Ephesus the mother of Jesus Maria alikuwa Efeso yule mama ya Yesu ni Jerusalem alikimbia kutoka Yerusalemu John ran away Yohana alikimbia they were at Ephesus walikuwa kule Efeso and Israel na Israel remained without the holy spirit na Israel wakabaki bila roho mtakatifu so where the last one now sasa Paulo na Barnabas walikuwa wa mwisho now we turn away from you so kasema sasa tunawaacheni yes it meant now so the holy spirit is no longer on the land of Israel ili maanisha kwamba roho mtakatifu hayuko katika nchi ya Israel and there is no person na hakuna mtu tena hallelujah hallelujah we were told somebody said that two spirits eh tuliambia kwamba tuko na roho mbili there are two spirits eh kuna roho roho mbili spirit of god and the spirit of the devil na roho wewe wa mungu na roho wa shetani if you do not have the spirit of god you have the evil spirit na kama unajua huna roho wa mungu una roho mwovu immediately the spirit left israel mara tu roho alipoacha israel the devil began to show his muscles now. Shetani akaanza kuonyesha misuli yake sasa. Now this they troubled me now I'm going to do them. Sasa hao wameni walinisubasa naenda kwa vuruga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he went. Na kaenda. Ndio. Adenda dindu ya man. Na kamwingia mtu. And when you anger the Lord. Na unapomkasirisha Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember saying this. Let me see if I can find that. Ebuna na kama naweza kaipata hiyo. Wewe wewe wewe. Amina. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Amen. This is the message, the feast of the trumpet. Uko katika ujumbe siku ya baragumu. kuandika samaha in the mind that written lakini kwenye nia yangu nilishaiandika but the book i didn't write it lakini kwenye kitabu sikuiandika haleluya okay but let me go it lakini acha ninukuu he say after they rejected the the apostles na asema baada ya kuwakataa mitume sasa what did god do mungu alifanya nini He released now aliachilia sasa 200,000 demons mapepo milioni 
and they entered into Titus a Roman soldier. Ikamuingia Tito yule askari wa Kirumi. And the eyes were out of the sockets. Hata macho yake yakachomoka kutoka kwenye kwenye sehemu zake. He felt rage against Israel. Akasikia hasira na chuki dhidi ya Israel. So that now what Jesus Christ spoke about in Matthew 24 should be fulfilled. Ili kile ambacho Yesu alisema kwenye Mathayo 24 kitimie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All people who are filled with the Holy Spirit. Wale wote wale baptized na Roho Mtakatifu. They are not going to be touched. Hawa hakwenda kuguswa. Only those without the Holy Spirit. Wale tu wale ambao walikuwa hawana Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. He commanded his soldier, "Can you surround the walls of Jerusalem?" Akaamuru maaskari wote wanajeshi wote, "Mnaweza mkazunguka hizi kuta zote za Yerusalemu?" They never allowed them to go and buy or to sell. Hawakuruhusu waende kuuza wala kununua. No water drawing. Hakuna kuchota maji. So they got some buckets. Kwa kapata ndoo. Whoever felt like we willing could go and we were there. Na yote aliyojisikia kukojoa ngenda kukojoa mle ndani. Their water was yuni. Maji yao yalikuwa ni mkojo. That's the message God let me talk about. Huyo ni Mungu wa rehema tunayemzungumzia. Hello? 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 That's the message God let me talk about. Huyo ni Mungu mwenye rehema tunayemzungumzia. When a child will die, wakati mtoto amekufa, they ate their own children. Yes. Walikula watoto wao wenyewe. Whoever died, they ate. Yoyote aliyekufa wakamla. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until they all got finished. Mpaka wote wakaisha. God saved the remnant those who received the Holy Spirit and the one that ran away from Egypt. From Mungu aliyokuwa wale masalia waliopokea Roho Mtakatifu ndio aliweza kuepuka kutoka mle. Yes. Hello. Hello. Now the Bible is saying. Hasa Biblia inasema. That's the truth. In Malachi chapter 4. Katika Malachi. Malachi chapter 4. Katika Malachi 4. Because that's the change, the first change. Kwa sababu hiyo ni kanisa la kwanza. That's what happened to that first change. Na hiyo hiyo ndio ilitokea And today, na leo God sends the prophet. Mungu anatuma nabii. Malaki said, Malaki anasema, God a day is coming. Tazama inakuja siku. That day is burning like an oven. Hiyo siku inawaka kama tanuru. Yeah. Oh, Lakini tazameni na watumieni Elia na Bi. Rejecting this Elijah my brother. Kumkata huyu Elia ndugu yangu. I know you didn't know why we are emphasizing on the prophet. Najua hamkujua kwa nini tulikuwa tunasisitiza juu ya Nabi. Yes. Salvation will not come from Rome no. Uokovu hautatoka Rumi hapana. Salvation will not come from England no. Uokovu hautatoka Uingereza hapana. Scriptures are identified as from Jerusalem. Ma, niko niko uokovu utatoka. And in John chapter 13, na katika Yohana sura 13. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mstari wa 20. Mstari wa 20. He is Sasa nataka kumkatana bi. Yes. What does Revelation chapter 1 says? Je, ufumo sura kwanza unasemaje? Jesus Christ was seated. Yesu Kristo alikuwa ameketi. With seven stars in his hand. Akiwa na nyota saba mkononi mwake. Amen. And they were not eight. 
na zikuwa nane because i know men have risen the thing all that they hit the message kwa sababu unajua wewe ndio mzuri kwa kisa mimi ni mchuki na wewe na wewe ta identify you It only identifies seven messengers. The rest of us falls under the fivefold ministry. Amen. Whether they have money or they don't have money. You want to bribe people because you have money. So 
must be such. And you must be such. If you can't be like that, come away to Kwaivo. Then it's a suicide. Jenny, the Nipo Nahuzuni Kubwa. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, let me wind up in this way. I will marry you. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 Kabla sija kuumba katika tumbo Nalikujua Kabla huja toka tumboni Nalikutakasa Nima kueka kuwa nabii wa mataifa Ok That's what God is saying to Jeremiah Vema hivyo ndiyo mungu anasema kwa Jeremiah Remove Jeremiah Sasa ondoe Jeremiah Put yourself there Ujiweke mwenye pari And ask God Na umuhize mungu Jeremiah was a prophet. Do you? Kwa mata hifa. Do you? Ndipo kwa ko. What did God put in you? Mungu aliweka nini ndani yako? If you haven't known it. Kama huja kijua. It means you haven't met God first to face. Inamana huja kutana mungu uso kwa uso. Yes. It is time to cry to God. God I want to know who am I in the world. Ni wakati wa kulia kwa mungu waba. Mungu nataka kujua nimi ni nani. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the way we are going to pray now. Give us a song. 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 Give us a song.
Stop.